place where the land meets sea There is a home so sweet, the house of an artist With something to show us, painting pictures at brush and pen Up on the paper in a book that's so beautiful It is a joy to read because the stories you find in this book of wonders Are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired over the ages By God's Holy Spirit, you guided your tractors long ago John is the friar's name, and you will find with him Three friends so special, having fun all together Renata, Leopold and Tim, who want to share with you All the good stories that the friar John would tell And if you like, you can join us for friends and maybe Stay for a while, and together we will play Or perhaps you would like to join in the chorus No need to worry if they sing a little out of tune If you prefer to play with the smallest so come, we are waiting in this holy place We're really sure that you want to hear the stories of our young The Prodigal Son Hi, Renata Hello, Father John Renata? How did it go with your friend? Great, thanks but, is anything wrong? Oh, uh, no, no, nothing's wrong with me, no. Um, uh, Father John, what happens if someone finds a purse in the street? They should find the owner and give it oh, back. Um, uh, what if there's money in it? One more reason to give it back. Um, well, what if it doesn't belong to anybody? That's impossible. Um, but if there's no name, it means nobody owns it, right? Someone must own it. Oh, but what if there's no name in it? Then you should hand it to the police and they'll find the owner. Oh, um, but what if you don't hand it in? Well, that would be like stealing it. Oh, stealing. Hmm. Oh. Why so many questions? Have you found a purse with money in it but with no name? No, 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 no. I, I haven't found a purse. Well, for a while I thought that's what you meant. Oh, well, well, you, you're wrong. Hmm. Children, it's time to go to catechism class. Come on. Yes, let's go to catechism class. Renata, come on. Renata, you're going to catechism class too, right? I'm... I'm waiting for my friend. But there'll be confession today. Do I have to confess? Well, if you want. I, I already confessed last year. But I'm sure you've done something that you regret since then, mm. haven't you? Um, so are you coming? I can't. I have to stay and wait for my friend. Why don't you wait till she gets here and then bring her mm, too? Okay. Okay. I'll wait for you. Mm. Mm. Let's go to get mm. some class. Mm. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh. oh, it has a lot of money. Virgin Mary and Jesus and oh, oh and oh and a rosary. Oh, oh that must be my friend. Yes, come in. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, Renata. Hello. How's it going? Oh, not so good, really. I think I'm going to hand in that purse we found. Oh, what? You can't do that. Why not? Because I already bought the chocolates. The guy in the store let me oh. have them, and now I have to give him the money. But can't you give them back? No, because I opened the box and ate some. Come on, Renata. Oh. Where'd you get the idea you should hand that person anyway? There's no name in it. It's yours. Really? Of course. Come on, take these chocolates and give me the money. Oh, I do love mm -hmm. chocolates. Yeah, they're really good, eh? Oh. Mmm. Yes. Oh, they smell mm. so good. <laughs> no, I can't take them. I'm sorry. But what's gotten into you? Go uh, on, oh, eat the chocolates. Mmm. Oh, mm. this. Oh, it's, oh, it's delicious. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes, they're delicious, huh? Oh. Mm, they're really mm. good, aren't they? Mm. That's right. Now, come on with the money that's left over. We can have some fun, Renata. Come on, chocolate, yes, lollipops, lots of things. Oh, I can't. I have catechism class. Catechism yeah. class? 
to still go to catechism class. And I told Father John you'd come with me. Me? Mm. Go to catechism? No way. I've better things oh, to do. But there'll be confession. Confession? Oh, yes. What if they tell you to hand the purse mm. in? Well, I won't be able to. We'll have spent the money. You see, there's nothing you can do. Let's oh. go and enjoy oh. ourselves. And can we buy more chocolates? Mm. Oh, sure. As many as you like. Gumdrops, chocolate. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're here. Renata. Renata, we're here. Father John, where's Renata? Where is she? Oh, where is where she? she? Where Renata? could she be? Where Renata? is she? She's not down I don't here. know. No. No. Hmm. Probably she's with her oh, friend. With her friend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. let's draw. Let's because now I am Father John, and I'll no, draw in the book. Mm -hmm. I'll well, draw a little more, and then me? in a few moments I'll talk okay. to Where have you been, Renata? Oh, I just went to see if the doctor was on his way. The doctor? What's wrong? Are you sick? Are you sick? Oh, I have a tummy ache. You look bad. Oh, she's Okay, she's come on. Sick. Is she sick for oh, the Oh, little girl. We're going to go get some. What happened to her? Oh. So you called the doctor? Yes, but Is it's taking sick? a long Is time to get here. Poor oh, Renata. Hey, Renata, look! Oh. I found you a thermometer. A thermometer? Yes, Let me see. Oh, a thermometer <laughs> for the feet. Oh, thank you, Timothy. But this oh. thermometer is not for people. Oh. Ah. Okay. We'll use it for something else, OK? Oh, well. Father John, when will the doctor come? My tummy hurts me too He much. is coming. Stay calm. You see? Huh? He's, oh, here. he's here. Come in. Good. good afternoon, Dr Hello, Frank. Doctor. Good afternoon. We called you because Renata has a tummy oh. ache. Oh, Renata. Does your tummy hurt a lot? Too much. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Open your mouth. Let me see. Well, let me see. tell me if it hurts. Okay. Hmm. Oh, she has a tummy ache. Now I'm going to listen to your belly with this stethoscope. I want to be better. Hmm. Have you eaten a lot of something? No, I haven't eaten a lot of chocolate. She has the typical symptoms of indigestion. But if Renata says that she's not eaten too much chocolate... Oh, I see. I think with a dose of chamomile tea, rest, and not eating anything tomorrow, she'll be fine. Very good. Okay? Thank okay. you. It's a pleasure. Leopold, Goodbye. little Tim. Goodbye, Doctor. Bye. Goodbye, Tim. Renata. Bye. Tomorrow I will come to visit you. Thank you, Doctor. But but aren't you going to give me any medicine? Bye. See you soon. Bye, John. But he didn't give me any medicine. Well, I haven't told him the whole truth. I didn't say some little details, and of course, maybe he doesn't know what I have. The doctor knows a lot. Well, I just feel so bad. You feel bad. Would you like me oh, to tell you a parable? Yes? Oh, yes, a parable. Oh, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. A parable. A parable. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The parable of the prodigal son. Oh, the prodigal son. He is a son who wasted and squandered all his money on things that are not necessary. There was once a man who had two sons. Oh, my son, please work a little more. The younger son asked his father for his inheritance. <laughs> oh, father, I want you to give me my share of the family's money, please. <gasps> yes, son. <laughs> The father gave him his share of the inheritance. Here you are, son. It was a lot of money. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I, oh, I'm rich. Oh, 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 oh goodbye. Within I'm a, a couple rich of man. days, the younger son had packed his bags and set out for a land far away. There he spent his money freely on parties and having fun. 
for everyone. Waiter, what's the matter? If you want more food, you'll have to pay me first. You want to pay? Well, take your money. Bah, you Bye -bye. have no money. Let's You're go. leaving? Let's go. You're going to drop Bye. me just because I've got no more money? Mm hmm. Some friends you are. His money ran out, and to make things worse, there was a severe famine in that faraway country at that time. He was in real need. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Excuse me, waiter. What do you want? Give me a piece of bread, please. I'm sorry, we have no food left. Food is hard to find these days. But I need something to eat, please. Then you'll have to work. To work? Yes, I could give you a job. Great. Uh, what kind of work? I keep pigs, you see, and I need someone to look after them, to feed them, to what? wash them. Forget it. That's a filthy job. No, 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 no. No problem. I'll soon find someone else. No, don't do that. I'll take the job. I'm so hungry. Then come with me. I'll show you the place. Okay. Uh, and can I have some money in advance so I can eat, please? No way. I don't trust you. Move along. See? You have to feed them. Hey, pigs. You're so smart. Here, pigs. Good stuff. It's your turn. The poor boy went to feed pigs, but was so hungry he wished to fill his belly with the pig's food. But nobody gave him any. Hey, what am I seeing? That food is for the pigs, and there isn't much of it with this famine. You can't eat those husks. <laughs> when he was desperate with hunger, the boy remembered what his father's laborers ate. <laughs> How many servants of my father have bread enough while I perish here in hunger? So he thought to himself, I will get up and I will go to my father and I will say, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I do not deserve to be called your son. Treat me like a slave and at least I'll not die of hunger. Yes, yes, that's what I'll do. Yes, I'll go to my father. And he got up and went back to his father. He travelled all the way back, hungry and thirsty. His shoes were worn out and his clothes were torn and dirty too. While he was still far away, his father saw him <gasps> and was filled with compassion. Mm. He My ran son. and threw his arms My around his neck and kissed him. Son. Father, I have sinned against heaven and against... Quiet, son. Quiet. Come here. Come here. Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him. Huh? Oh. Put a ring on his finger. Huh? Oh. And sandals oh. on his feet. Bring the fattened calf, kill it, let's eat and celebrate. <laughs> 
For this, my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. They were celebrating with music and dancing and food. When the elder brother came home from working in the field, he heard the music and the partying and the dancing and called one of the servants. Hey, you, come here. Is that music I hear at my father's house? Your brother has returned and your father has killed the fatted calf because he's back safe and sound. <gasps> You killed the fattened calf? Why, well, I don't want to go to that party. My son, rejoice with us, because your brother is back. Father, for many years I've served you. I've never disobeyed you and always done my best. But you never gave me even a goat to have a party with my friends, and I never complained. And now comes that son of yours who's wasted what you gave him, and you kill the fatted calf for him. Son, you are always with me, and all I have is yours. It was right for us to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Well, this was the parable of the prodigal son. Did you like it? Yes, very oh, much. much. Yes, Renata, yes, is your yes, tummy yeah. ache better? Yes, a little oh. bit. Hey, why did the father not get angry when the son had spent all the money? In this parable, the father represents God, who is always waiting for us to repent. Not to punish, but to forgive. Oh, Dad, do you not understand is why the prodigal son left home if his father was so good? That's true. Maybe he had a friend who told him to do bad things. Do you think so, Father John? Well, although the parable doesn't say so, yes, it's possible he might have had a friend who gave him some bad advice. Oh. Sure, he had a friend who told him, go, take the money and chocolate and stuff and, and then we're sad and have a tummy ache. <laughs> yes, and sorry for having done bad things, mm. but Jesus tells us in the parable that the Father will forgive us if oh. we turn to him. Oh, and how can we turn to him? When we confess our sins, repent and ask for forgiveness. Oh, then I want to confess. He wants to confess. Well, you're in luck, because Father Felix is coming back soon. Oh, he's coming here. Oh, good. What if we open the music box while we're waiting? Oh, oh, the music box, the music box. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Oh, nice. oh, let's see, let's see. Open it, Tim. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, look how he's hugging oh, him. Oh. There was a man with two sons, an older and the younger one. The older son did what he should, the younger one wasn't half as good. The younger son said, listen, daddy, I want my share of the money. After receiving what he was owed, the younger son hit the road He roamed the world without a care Just like a hobo millionaire Pretty soon his cash was spent On wild parties every cent His pockets and his belly empty Was the end of the days of plenty He found work looking after swine But he was hungry all the time Of hearty dinners, the ones his father served back then, to feed his team of hired men. Whoa. So he travelled home right away, and met his father on the way. I'm very sorry for all I've done, I don't deserve to be called your son. His father smiled and said, son, now come inside. He dressed him in the finest robes, put new sandals on his feet. 
On his finger ring of gold Just like the one he had of old The father ordered preparation Of a feast of celebration There was music, there was singing And lots of delicious eating The older son was not so pleased hmm. To see his brother so received Like this father full of joy Welcomes back his youngest boy God is happy in heaven above When a sinner returns to his love In heaven there is much more pleasure When a lost soul is repenting Than when many good souls take measure And judge others who need forgiving Oh, I really like it. I really like it. Oh, 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 Father Felix, come in, come in. Come in, come in. Come in, come in. Hello, hello, Father John. Hello, How are Father you? Felix. Hello. Good to see you. How are you guys? How's it going? Hello, Father Felix. How is How everyone? Are you? How are you? Very good. What about you, Renata? Oh. I've missed you oh. in catechism class. I chocolated my belly. I mean, I had indigestion in my chocolates. I mean, I had a tummy ache. Were you a sick girl? Yes, but I'm better. How can I confess? Sure. Are we going to confession? Okay. Bye bye. While Renata confesses, I could tell you of a saint who was once. A saint, a saint wow. who was a true prodigal oh. daughter. Her name was Saint Hyacinth Mariscotti. She was born in a very wealthy family. Her parents were very pious and educated their five children well. Only Hyacinth departed from the teachings of the church. To correct this, her parents took her to a convent where her sister lived, but she did not live like the other nuns. She built a special cell, luxurious and comfortable, and ate only delicacies. She did not accept advice. She was arrogant and did not obey. She was bored by the prayers. But she became seriously ill, and being so close to death changed her. She confessed all her sins and, full of remorse, she began to do penance. The other nuns were amazed to see the change in her. She did the lowliest tasks and, to humble herself, she kissed the other nuns' feet or asked them to walk over her body to purge her heart of the pride and vanity that had done so much damage to the convent. It hurt her to realize she had offended God and wondered if he would forgive her. And the Lord, just as the father of the prodigal son, not only received and pardoned her, but gave her great gifts. The Virgin Mary appeared to her. When praying, she was so happy and would rise from the ground surrounded by a pleasant fragrance. God also gave her the gift of prophecy. And when she died, miracles happened at her tomb. Well, this was the life of St. Hyacinth Mariscotti. Do you see? We can all become saints. Oh, it's true. We can all be saints. We're here. Hello. Renata, I see you're happy. Yes, from now on, I'm going to confession more often. I'm very happy. Who is it? Well, Hello, Father. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, Renata. Um, hey, I want to talk to you about something. Hey? Hey, guys. I think we should leave for a moment. A moment? But why? Do you trust me? Oh, okay. Um, it's just that I've been thinking about the wallet. Oh, yes? Yes. What do you think? I'm going to give it back. What? You can't do that, Renata. Yes, I can. You cannot. We've spent the money. No, but not everything. There's still a lot of money and the owner must need it. But there's no name. But we must try and find out. We can do Who it. Who told you that? I bet you confessed to that priest and he told you to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it as my penance. I promise. Oh, no. What a disaster. But who are you calling? The store where we found the purse. The store? 
No, Renata, you can't. Mm. Hello. No. Is, is this the store, Mrs. Perez? Uh, no. Yes. No. Um. No. Has there been a person asking for a wallet? Yes. Oh, no. What is this? Yes. What a lady. Yes. No. No. No name. Oh. oh. Good. Because you see, we found it. Yes, my friend and I, and we want to return it to its owner. Yes, I think she'll be happy. Oh, oh. <gasps> it's all her money for the whole month. Oh, poor thing. Yes, well, we'll bring it this afternoon. You're welcome. I just want to do the right thing. Mm, thanks. Goodbye. But what have you done, Renata? You're going to return the wallet? Yes, I will take it back. Did you know that money was from a poor old lady and was all she had to live on for the whole month? No, I didn't. I didn't. But let's not be sad. We've done something good. But how can I not be sad now that I don't have any money? Not for chocolates or anything? How can you be so cheerful? Because I confessed. You can confess your sins too. I'm embarrassed. And I don't know how. But it's very easy. And see how happy it makes you. I feel so good. I feel like singing. <laughs> Listen to this song. Hmm. Mm -hmm. A song? song of forgiveness sometimes I do things that are wrong wrong things because my will's not strong even if I do them without thinking they hurt others me and those I love when I sin I go away from the Lord and I feel just like the prodigal son who left his father's house looking for fun but only Sadness and misery he found But the father waits and watches from his home For his youngest son to return to him When I repent of my sins and confess them to a priest I receive God's loving embrace My mistakes and all my faults Christ will erase My soul will clean and I'll receive his grace in his love he God and I will enter in And I will live again in his love And I will live again in his love oh, What a beautiful song, Renata. I want to feel that good too. Do you think that Father Felix would hear my confession? Of course. I'll go look for him. Father Felix! And I will live again in his love. Wow, I'm going to confess. Tell me, Ramata, what is it? It's that, well, look, my friend wants to confess. Sure, are we going to confession? Sure, okay. <laughs> I want my share of our money After receiving what he was owed The younger son hit the road wow. He moved the world without a care wow. Just like a hobo millionaire wow. Pretty soon his cash was spent wow. One of our parties every cent wow. His pockets and his belly empty wow. There was the end of the days of plenty wow. He found looking after swine But wow. he was all the time 